Okay, so now the Parmesan has been in the oven for about uh, eight minutes. The oven's up around 180 degrees. The eggplant was already semi-cooked, so what this has done is really cook it through. It's gonna make it nice and tender. The tomato is gonna to start to seep into the bottom of it. The cheese is gonna bubble up and be nice and golden brown. Let's see how it goes. One big walk, be careful. Oh, okay. To me, that's done, that's a cracker. What we're gonna do, dish it up. Now keeping in mind that this is the first course of three, okay? It's a traditional parmigiana with eggplant, mozzarella, oh, look at that. Woof! Eggplant, mozzarella, and tomato. There we go. I'll throw this to the side. I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of herb. Boom, boom, boom. Now that's gonna be the first dish, okay? Now we're gonna get onto our main meal. Our entree is done. We're happy eating this. We've already done desserts. They're setting for us. Now we're gonna whack this out and enjoy some real salt and bocca, okay? I've got boiling water on for our gnocchi, okay? This is store-bought gnocchi. You can make yourself gnocchi. I wanna try and show how simple it is to cook at home a good meal, okay? So we use the store-bought stuff. We've got veal, which I've bashed out. We've got prosciutto, sage, a little bit of butter. I'm gonna throw off some blistered cherry tomatoes in the end of it, okay? So we'll throw this in the water. While it's boiling away, I'm gonna seal off the salt and bocca, seal off the veal, okay? Whew. Okay, there we go. The gnocchi's in the water. I like to salt my water a lot, okay? Whenever it's got pasta in it, nice and salty, nice and, gives it the bite that you don't need to season later on. Now we're gonna do our veal. Veal, traditionally the salt and bocca, has the prosciutto laid across it, the sage on top of that, hammered down, rolled up, and cooked in more like a roulade style. Today we're just gonna put the prosciutto on top of the veal, we're gonna put it in a nice pan on about a medium heat, brown it off, take it out, and make a sauce out of our juices, out of some butter, and out of the sage, and toss it through the gnocchi, okay? So let's see how we do this. We'll throw a pan on the heat straight away. Awesome. Okay, I've got the pan on, I've got it on a medium heat. I'm gonna do some preparation now. And the preparation involves throwing more, or placing my prosciutto on top of my veal. My veal I've already bashed out, it's very easy. Nice little veal steaks, okay? There's some beautiful prosciutto. What in actual fact is gonna happen, because I'm not putting a lid on top of this, is the prosciutto I expect it to crisp up and some parts fall off, but that's just gonna add to the sauce, okay? There we go, another piece. Get the prosciutto from your butchers, get them to slice it themselves, unless you've got yourself a slicer at home and you like to think of yourself as a little chef. There we go, I'm pushing it in, because I've already beaten out the veal, it's already got some little openings for it. So by pushing this, with any luck, it's gonna hold on quite well. I'll get rid of this, I don't need it at the moment. And we're gonna understand all this is getting done with only $30. So basically it's three courses, two people can have for $30. So in actual fact, $15 per person is gonna give you parmigiana, a salt and booker, and a tiramisu. That's awesome. Let's go over to the stove. Our pan's hot and gnocchi's done. You can always tell when gnocchi's done, it floats to the surface. What I'm gonna do, it's perfect timing. I'm gonna throw that into a colander, drain the water off it, and while it's resting, I'm gonna finish off our veal, okay? So take this across, into our colander. Now I've got this heat, which is the one I wanted. The pan's hot, a little bit of olive oil inside there of the non-stick pan. Now, I don't want it too hot. You'd see if it was really hot, it'd be pouring and smoking around everywhere. I've got our veal, so very gently. Prosciutto side down. Try not to stride around. Now, I'm only gonna give it about two minutes each side, and that's gonna be more than enough. Then we're gonna rest it while we make our sauce. A bit of salt on one side. 
a bit of pepper. Turn the heat down. I'm turning the heat down because I don't want to blacken the prosciutto. The, the prosciutto is very thin. It's going to cook very quickly. By turning the heat down, I can cook it for a longer period of time and it's still going to keep that tenderness. Okay? Grab a clean plate that we can put that on. Okay, I've got a clean plate here. I'm going to grab the other ingredients for our sauce, okay? So it's going to be the tomatoes, the butter, and the sage. It's going to roll together with this prosciutto. I can smell it now. Oh, I'm getting hungry! Okay, here I am grabbing the rest of my ingredients. By the time I get back to the pan, the meat will be ready to flip. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Here we are. Flipping. My meat, oh, look at that. It's caramelized. It's coming nice and brown. The secret is not to cook it too long. Here I am, flipping the meat, and it's cooked perfectly, okay? I'm gonna rest it now. It's been on there two minutes one side. Try not to overlap them, okay? They're still gonna have residual heat inside them and they'll keep cooking. Now I've got all this beautiful juice inside here. Instead of deglazing the pan, because we're doing it quite cheaply, we're not spending too much money, we're just gonna throw butter straight into that, okay? So there's our butter. That was a nice little Tinkerbell. We're gonna wind this around, and we'll take our meat over to the other side for a bit of a rest. Okay. I've got the heat up full blast. I've put the butter in there. Now I want to get the butter a little bit burnt, a little bit nutty. Right now is a perfect time to throw my sage in. The sage is going to crisp up, it's going to give flavour to it. I'll throw the tomatoes in there as well. With any luck they're going to blister up. Now all my food I always try and wash off. So they're nice and clean, they're washed, we're all happy. A few tomatoes, try to get away from me then. Okay, cherry one, cherry two. Show you three. There we go. Bit of a toss around like that. Now, it's already got the seasoning from when I seasoned the meat before, so it's already got salt and pepper in there. Now it's got nut, now it's got sage. It's all coming together. I'm gonna throw my gnocchi in there. There we go. A little bit of gnocchi in there. Done. Give it a bit of a toss. Okay. Now, the heat is up high, so what the butter's gonna do is, it's gonna create its own sauce, it's gonna be our sauce, okay? It's sealing off the little individual pieces of gnocchi, the flavor of the tomatoes is gonna start splitting and create a bit of a sauce. I'm gonna grab our meat, which is on our tray over there, and strain off any juices and add into it, okay? Here's our meat, tip it up, and there's our juice. Listen to that. And I think now's a good time to plate up. Beautiful. There we go. Back over here. Two plates. Don't need the chopping board. I have a gnocchi, which I can just drizzle around the side of the plates. There we go. Oh, it smells wonderful. A little bit of tomato for each person, gives it a nice little bit of color. Bit of green of the sage. The gnocchi, it's got a nice caramel flavor and color to it. There we go, in the middle, boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna serve our meat in the middle of that. Okay, that's there. Here's our meat, it's still quite warm, so be careful when you're touching it. One. Two, one, two, a little bit of juice if you've got some left, and that's it. We've got a veal salt and bocca, we've got a parmigiana, and we've got a tiramisu. Three courses for two people, only $30. And how does it taste? Let's go.